Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Between the Ropes. I'm your host, Commissioner Brad Barnes, and I am joined today with the prodigal son, Ryan Marks. Ryan, how's everything going, sir? It's been interesting to say the least. It, it seems like it. Yeah. Especially on uh, what happened to you a while back being jumped while you was training. Yeah, I still got some marks going on, <clears throat> but it'll be all right. So, sir, where did the name prodigal son come from? So, interesting story. Uh, I was trained by Mike Golden, as most people know. But what most don't know is that my dad was as well. So, it, it comes from him not being able to finish his time in the ring the way he wanted to. So, I fell in love with the business at an early age. What better than the prodigal son to make a return? So, who was one of your favorite wrestlers growing up? Ah, I figured you'd ask that question. And the first person I ever really got interested in was Rob Van Dam. Really? Mm-hmm. I'll go back a little bit further. So. Yeah. <laughs> you got a little age difference going on. Yeah. It'll be okay. Mm-hmm. But, you know, everybody's got their favorite. So. <laughs> I liked Rob Van Dam, too. So. Well, in your short time in this business, what has been your biggest challenge? Honestly, it's it, it's got to be figuring out the crowd. It's got to be figuring out what they want to see. How often they want to see it, how they <clears throat> how they want you to interact with them, it's it's challenging for sure. But once you get it, it clicks and it continues to click over and over again. And right now, I think that's why I'm on the top as one of the best good guys here, because I know the people that fill up this building know that I love what I do and I love that they support me. Well, what's been your greatest accomplishment since you've been with the NAWA? I don't think it's happened yet. I think I still got a lot more time left here, and I still got a lot more to accomplish. So the greatest thing, I can't answer that yet because it hasn't happened. The sky looks, sky's the limit for you. I mean, I've seen a lot from you, so I can't wait. Even though I still owe you a shot in the head. Yeah, yeah, I apologize for that. <laughs> I know you was paid paid really, really well for that. So yeah. It had to be. Yeah. But, all right. So over the past several months, we've seen what's been going on with the Golden Boys. We've seen them pretty much jump you out. Um, I know you was the leader of the group and everything, but what do you really feel started all that? So it's hard to pinpoint the exact moment. First, it was miscommunication that was going on. It was the not going with what I wanted to do, you know, I, I came to them and I was like, hey, we need to we need to try to do it differently. We need to try to do it the right way. And they just wasn't having it. But I know one thing that really ticked me off is it happened at the last was it the benefit show that we did, I want to say for the Freedom Seekers. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you had Cody going against Aubrey Gold and Cody got distracted. Aubrey took advantage and beat him. Well, after that, they decided to lay hands on Aubrey. I'm a man. Uh, I've been raised down here in Georgia my entire life. There's no excuse for laying your hands on a woman. That was, that's what did it for me. That's where I knew it was going to end in a bad way. And so far, it seems to be right. Well, understood. Since the breakup, You've been attacked several times by them. There's even one point where I actually had to step in and break up the pack of hyenas jumping on a young lion, yeah. as you say. Um, do you sometimes feel yourself torn because you trained with these guys? You was the leader with them. Maybe some mixed emotions while you're having to fight them or just compete against them? Uh, I definitely do, especially when it comes to you know, Mike Golden being the teacher, person I, I learned from, it, it's hard, you know, sitting there late over a rope getting yeah. my butt kicked and he just comes over there and punches me square in the face. That definitely hurts. But it, these guys were my best friends. We hung out, we talked every day, we trained together, we, we all ate 
slipped and breathed this rain. But I guess destiny has us going different ways. That's what it seems like right now. Yeah. Biggest show of the year coming up. Instant classic. It's eight days away. Only eight days. Are we going to see you on that card? I got something for you. Okay. Cody, me and you have been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. I am tired of the bull****. I am tired of us continuing, continuing this process of you sending them to jump me. Because you're too scared to do it yourself is the big problem. So, how about this? To end it all, squash it. It's done. Last man standing. Those golden boys, golden girls, golden idiots, really, don't get to interfere. This is me and you. This is war. One of us will walk out of here. The other one won't. So, I just need an answer, Cody. I'm ready the minute you say yes. And one last question. Where does Ryan Mark see himself in a year? I want to be at the top. That's my goal. Uh, I want to be at the top. I want to be a champion. That is what I've wanted since day one when I started. And that's not going to stop anytime soon. And even once I reach that top, I'm still going to keep pushing harder and harder and harder every single time I step foot in this building, step foot in that ring. You got to grab that brass ring whenever you can. That's what you yes, need sir. to go for. Well, fans, Ryan Marks challenged Cody McHale, last man standing match. It's going to be an instant classic that night. It's going to be a great match. I think we can actually uh, get that together. So um, <laughs> I can't wait for it. It's going to be interesting. Yes, it is. As I've only been thinking of what I can do if that match gets accepted. Well, he'll either accept it or he'll run like he normally does. So we'll have to find out. Yes, sir. Ryan, I appreciate you coming by. Absolutely. Thanks, Thank sir. You.